I'm going to be doing a desk tour with you guys. Lately, you guys have been requesting a ton of videos that have to do with organization, getting back to school, um, things about like how I plan, which you're going to get a little bit of a peek at that as well in this video. So I decided to do a little desk tour with you guys because I recently organized my whole desk system by moving it in here, and I'm going to link anything that I can find that has to do with this desk area down below, so definitely go check that out. Also, while you're at it, feel free to check out my Instagram and my Twitter, which should pop up on this side of the screen here, as well as subscribe if you guys haven't already, and hit the little notification bell so you guys know anytime I post a new video. And aside from that, I feel like we've got a lot to tour, so let's just jump right on in. And by that, I mean I'm gonna take this off of this tripod, and we're gonna do a tour. So, first things first, this is obviously the desk area. I work from home as you guys probably know by now so my desk area is quite important when it comes to work. I decided to put my desk area in my bedroom just because I wanted it to be in a more central area plus I could not beat this view like look can we be real? So first things first this is the computer chair that I have I got it from Ikea I'll link it down below if I can find it and then I just threw this fake fur throw that I got from HomeSense over it. I just feel like it's cute, it's cozy, and it's white, so it fits the whole theme. And this chair is way comfier than the one I had before because it's made out of actual cushion. The desk itself is from Ikea, as well as the topper. You'll notice that I added a topper for my computer. Again, I'll link those down below if I can find them, and then underneath I just have a little floor cushion for Bentley, but also in case I do my makeup in the other mirror. So I guess we'll go drawer for drawer. In the first drawer of my desk, I'll give you guys an overview and then go into a little bit more detail. So here I have two extra books. These books I don't use as often. Um, this one is kind of used as like a planner when it comes to setting goals, like overall goals for the year and things like that, which I've kind of dived into before with you guys in a vlog, which I will link if I can find it. And then this book here I use to plan videos. I fill out a blank page from start to finish on what I plan on putting in each video. So that is why this book is underneath it. In the back there, I just have two books that say goals and bucket list. This is one that you can fill your bucket list in for life, and this one is one you can plan out goals. I don't really use the goals one, and I filled out some of my bucket list items in here. I want to fill out more. Um, and then beside that, I just have my checkbook, which I flipped over for obvious reasons. And then here I keep my little fake glasses. I usually have my espresso Patronum ones here too from Coe's, but um, I have them set out for another video right now, which is why they're not here, but that is usually where my fake glasses go. I actually should have a prescription because I am blind, but I'm just too lazy, let's be real. And then beside that, I just have this um, drawer organizer that I got off of Amazon. I will link it down below. In the first three, I have all of my post-it notes aside from this little controller. This is for the heater that is actually out on my patio. Then I just have my marble post-its my blank white post-its and my little mini post-its and I used these to fill out my um, YouTuber videos. Post-its that I use for my agenda. I like to keep the pens that I use most often in here and black ink is my favorite. And then I have all my highlighters and these are probably one of the most used things in my desk slash organization system. I use highlighters like they're going out of style. This drawer is like things I tend to grab for more often like post-it notes. Um, my pens and my highlighters. So that concludes what is in the first drawer of my desk. And then as for the second drawer, this one I keep more of the notebooks and agendas that I actually use. So right here I just have my ruler. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a muscle relaxer that Greg actually left here once and I've been keeping it in my desk. I use it because I honestly get such a sore neck editing videos and things like that so I just like to keep this in my desk. Here I just have my stapler and my tape dispenser. They're both by this brand called Poppin and I like them just because, you know, they're solid white. If you can't tell, the theme here is kind of like black and white. But I got these off of Amazon and again, I'll link them down below. And then next to that, I just have this notebook that I use. This is more of like a planning notebook. It doesn't have any lines or anything, so I like to use it kind of like a bullet journal without the actual bullets. Freehand everything. And then behind that, I have my two planners, which you guys would have seen before. I'm actually getting a new planner because I, I've created one for code 
bows, which you guys will get your hands on soon. This one is one I use more often, but sometimes I toss between the two. This is the Erin Condren one, and I like it because it's got like the timestamps in it, which is great, but sometimes you don't need your timestamps. You just want to make a to-do list, which is what I use this one for. Basically, if you guys are curious, I'll give you a bit of a hint for the Coase planner that I made. It's a combination of the two where you'll have your timestamps and your to-do lists. Basically like taking both of these and putting them into one planner. But that is just where I keep my planners in this drawer. And then here again, this little uh, paper tray is also from Poppin. Underneath I have like a folder of really important papers. Then on top of that, I just have my journal slash like stream of consciousness. Um, I keep that under there. And then on top of that, this is like my life notebook. I make to-do lists in here. I make like inspiration lists in here. I have my reading lists, video lists, like anything that you could possibly put into a list is in this book and I keep all of it organized. Just, I'll give you guys an idea if you're curious. See, I planned some videos like I draw my life. I started planning that. I have my reading list for the fall in here, how I plan out my work schedule, things like that. Basically any sort of life list possible or when I'm just feeling low or uninspired, I pull this book out and I organize my thoughts into lists. And that concludes that drawer. So then on top of my desk right here, I just have my keyboard. I got this keyboard cover up from Amazon, which I will link down below, but I just thought it kind of went well with the rest of the room since I have a gray and blackish vibe going on. And then behind that, I keep my laptop. I ordered a bunch of stickers to come to kind of add to my laptop, including like Gilmore Girls stickers and things like that. So I'm super pumped about that. So this is my work laptop. This is what I bring to cafes and stuff when I'm doing work. On top, I just have like some stickers that I've picked up from random places along the way. I don't remember where I got these two, but this one is obviously a co sticker. This one is from the place that Alana and I got our tattoos in Paris. And then when you flip it, it over I have a bunch more back here a lot of these ones are from Brandy Melville one from Prince Edward Island one from when I went to Amsterdam I have like 10 stickers coming in the mail so that is probably gonna happen this week and if it does I will post it to Twitter for you guys so definitely check that out so on this side I just have my quill that I got from Harry Potter land in Universal I picked this up in Diagon Alley and I just like to keep it here for decor and also just because it's a quill and it's freaking awesome. Like you can actually write with it, but I will forewarn you guys, it's a really crappy pen. The candle that I have on my desk right now is Marshmallow Fireside and then I just keep this little container here that I got from HomeSense and it has every single Sharpie you could possibly think of, including like the fat chunky ones. So I keep all those in there because I like to use Sharpies when I use my sketchbook. My computer is just the standard MacBook and we'll get into what these little post-it notes mean. I have my chill AF playlist from Spotify up, which I will also link my Spotify down below. And then beside that on this side, if you guys remember when I got this mug, leave a comment down below because it was in a video about two years ago. But I have my little elephant mug with this. Hey, if I'm gonna be mighty real with you guys, I stole this cactus in Florida when I was with Katie. We were at like this like event that had all these little fake cactuses. Threw it in my purse because we were talking in cowboy accents all night, so we thought it would be funny. Plus it's like a dollar store cactus, so it's not that big of a deal, right? Back here you'll notice that I have this little crystal. This actually changes color, but because because it's so light in my room right now, you can't tell. But the crystal itself is actually made from the Himalayan mountains and it's supposed to help you concentrate and purify and things like that. I don't really know. And then next to that, this is actually a real cactus that I got from the grocery store by my house. So first things first, in this drawer, I got this little organizer from Amazon and I'll link it down below as well. And how I keep this drawer organized is on this side, I just keep all of my dry erase markers, which I actually use my dry erase board to plan out. So this side has all the fun colors like pink, orange, blue, and green, and then Right beside it, I keep all the boring, like, standard school colors. In here, I just keep my memory cards. So, usually there's three in here, but I'm using one right now as we speak. One is in my vlog camera, and then this is just like a little cartridge to travel with. More erasers, these are more so for when I'm sketching. I don't tend to use pencil when I'm working. And then all of my extra pens, pencils, markers, basically anything else you can think of are kept in here. So yeah, that is the first drawer. And then moving on to the second drawer, in here I just keep this little three-tier container, again, is from Amazon, and I'll link it down below if I can find it. And the first one, I keep my portable um, iPhone charger, plus a bunch of cords for my laptop cameras and things like that. Then in the middle, I just keep all the extra white little clothespins, which I also got from Amazon, and they're for my bulletin board. Next, I have more clothing pins. These are the ones that actually came with the bulletin board, and I don't really have use for them yet, but I think they're really pretty, so I don't want to get rid of them. And lighters for my candles in my bedroom. And then just behind that, I have my 
my flash drive and then this is just like a, a little light up Lumi for when you're using your phone. I got this when I went to Coachella. It's from Urban Decay and like it clips onto your phone. So last but not least, I'm gonna share with you guys my bulletin board system above my desk. I actually recently purchased this for a video. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, it's how to get inspired and motivated. I'll put it up on the screen here and link it so that you guys can definitely go check that out. But just as an overall, at the very top there, I have an H&M gift card that I have yet to use. And I also have, this is actually Greg's like businesses card. So I keep that up there just because, I don't know represent and support, you know? Um, and then I have a bunch of the photos that I printed out for that video that are kind of like an inspo board and a dream board. And then I added some photos of Greg and I, some of Alana and I, and one of Bentley before I ran out of ink. I want to add more photos up here, but I'm going to have to purchase some more printer ink. But in the meantime, those are just the photos that I have up there for now. It's like a nice sense of joy when you're working. Finally, if you're curious about the post-it notes, the orange ones are all the YouTuber videos and the green ones are all my September videos. And how I did it is I planned out all my videos before hand in this book here and then once I had all my YouTuber videos scheduled and all of my September videos mapped out I basically just made a post-it note for every single one all the September ones down here and all of the October ones going up and anytime I film a video I take the post-it note after it's filmed and I put it down here on my computer. This lets me know that it's filmed but not edited. And then, for instance, I just finished editing this video today, so I'm gonna take this, open my agenda, and flip to today's page, and then I just stick it on my agenda to let me know that it's been edited and completed, and then all my videos that I've edited for the week will chill on this page. And so thus completes my office tour slash how I plan and schedule out YouTuber and future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video inspires you to organize your desk, your closet, your bedroom or anything in some way. Definitely keep me posted and tag me in it because I love seeing what you guys come up with after watching videos. Kind of like you guys inspire me to come up with this sort of video. I get things ready and organized. I film it for you guys and then it's just like an ongoing cycle of just constant motivation and inspiration. It brings me just a colossal amount of joy. And other than that, I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you guys for touring my desk with me today. So I'm gonna go edit this video now so I can move that post-it note into my agenda. Bye guys. Oh.